Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are ya? So today I have something pretty cool to do. So we are going to do two unboxings and I have a little surprise um, because something finally came. But before that, I just want to show you real quick two quick things. I want to show you how I finished off my family's little um, Christmas card paintings. So I'll link the video here. Uh, this was C, this was N, and this was G. I didn't finish G's yet, but I did this. I used this um, cool uh, foam, like self-adhesive uh, foam, not paper, foam, uh, with little sparkles and stuff. So G is going to get the red. And yeah, I usually wouldn't do this like with regular paintings. But I thought because this was more of like a Christmas card, I thought it would be nice to finish off the painting that way. You know? So, and I don't know how the heck I'm going to put a little message now. But I, I have little cards that I can maybe like just stick in here. Like that. And that will be it. Yeah, so I just want to show that to you real quick. And also, before we get started with this stuff here, I want to show you how the Montmartre Medium dried. I know it's been a couple of days, um, so let me bring you over here for a second and show you how it dried. And I'll link the video to this one here as well. So it dried pretty well. Um, it's light. Yeah, okay, that's better. It's a little stuck to here. Yeah, it dry. It, there, see those bubbles there? Those are the still the air bubbles. Um, yeah, a little bit of texture, because because most of it is kind of a glossy look. Um, you know, I didn't really want any texture. Like some in some pa paintings, um, I like texture. In this one, you know, because it looked like it was gonna have more of a glossy finish. Um, I really didn't want any uh, bubbles or anything. Sorry about this. Du -du 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 -du. Sorry. Um, yeah, but you know, um, but like again, I didn't want to keep on hitting the torch. Like this was after me using the torch three times and it still dried with a couple of bubbles. So that's, you know, I mean, it's not like a huge deal. It that's just how it dried. That's just how the pouring medium is, I guess. I don't know. So just if you've never tried it before, um, it creates a lot of bubbles. And even though, I, like I said, I had let the paint sit with the pouring medium in it, there was still a lot of bubbles. All right. So that is that. Okay. So let's come back over here. So <clears throat> um, in my last two videos, I think you heard me complain that Amazon did not deliver my package of the Montmartre uh, pouring acrylic paint. Um, and we're going to unbox this. What happened was they did deliver it. Um, I think that unfortunately either someone took it, okay, someone in my building, or um, someone took it by accident. I'm, I am more thinking they took it by accident. That's how I like to think of people, okay? Giving them the benefit of the doubt. And this morning when I went downstairs, um, it was there miraculously. I'm like, what is this thing? You know, I know I had ordered some stuff from Amazon for Christmas, blah, blah, blah. But it was there. So I'm happy and now I'm going to have to, because uh, Amazon did refund my money. So I'm going to contact them because I do want to keep this. I want to try it. So I'm really happy it did come. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tell them and they could charge my uh, card again. Anyway, so this is the Golden Beach. If I could focus. Anyway, um, it is the Montmartre Pouring Acrylics. And this is the Golden Beach uh, set. And I believe this was $15.99. And you get four four-ounce... Um, bottles so this is gold um this is uh what color is this light blue this is turquoise i like these colors turquoise and they are four ounce bottles yeah 
And we have, I think this is Ultramarine Blue. Yeah. So I've never tried these before. So um, in another video, because I really, what's coming up next, I really want to try today. Um, I waited a couple days for these. I'm going to wait a couple more, uh, you know, a day or so, whatever, to try these out. I think I'm going to try these out without the pouring medium first. Because supposedly these are pouring acrylic paints where you don't need the uh, medium. So I would like to try these uh, without any medium first. And we'll see. I, ha I haven't even opened these. Oh, yes, I took the... Um, little seals they all come sealed okay and um yeah so i have i haven't like poured a little out to see like their thinness or thickness yet so we are going to try these another day okay and then we'll see what goes on with them so i hopefully they are good but i'm excited to try this i'm happy it came now i just have to pay for it again <laughs> so let's get these out of the way for now all right get this guy out of the way okay so i found this kit on amazon and it said that uh they had i guess been on amazon since october but i just saw them this whole set was only 34 dollars um this is pretty cool so i'm going to show you what it comes in here this, I think, is like the perfect... I don't know how the paint is, okay? I don't know the quality of the paint yet. But this is, I think, a really great beginner set. Uh, it really is. Um, I got it because it just caught my eye. I think packaging gets me. Price was good. Um, you get a lot in here. And it comes with this really cool... Not that I need this. But again, if you're a beginner, it comes with this cool color wheel. Uh, which I think is really cool. Um, maybe I can give this to someone that needs it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and it has like the gray scale on the back. So I think, and it has some terminology, which I think is really, really nice for someone who is a beginner who just wants to do this, you know, as a hobby. Um, like I said, I take this more seriously with my art, but someone that's doing it as a hobby, you know, don't. This is great. This is absolutely great. And it also comes with a paint pouring guide. So it gives you like instructions of what these products are. And it actually gives you different techniques. Um, the descriptions of the techniques are not perfect. But it does give you a lot of information. So if any of you guys are out there that don't do pouring... Um, and you know these directions here are okay but i would suggest you go to some videos you know like similar things that i do there's plenty of channels out there as well that give great tutorials i think i give pretty good tutorials i hope i hopefully i do um but yeah there there are so many you know channels that give really good tutorials so that's what I would suggest is to actually watch someone do um, the technique, not just read about it. That's what I, I mean, the directions are fine, but, um, but anyway, this is only $34. I'm excited. And these colors look really nice. So it comes with its own gloss medium. And this is by U.S. Art Supply. See, I saw this medium by itself and I didn't realize that this brand was um, US art supply so it comes with a 16 ounce of uh, gloss pouring medium and and these are supposed to be paints are already like pre-mixed so that's what the directions say that these are supposed to be pre-mixed okay so I was like well why do you give a pouring medium if they're already pre-mixed that doesn't make sense to me but I'll explain in a minute and it also comes with how many ounces the two ounces of pouring masters silicone pouring oil so that is really awesome okay then you get eight colors of eight ounces each again great deal okay and the i don't know why this is like this color the grass green just like caught my eye so it says that the um 
the thickness is like of honey. And basically, you can use these right out of the bottle. These are supposed to be pre-mixed pouring paints, just like the Artist Loft, okay? But they said if you want to make cells, then you can use this medium. And I guess add some um, of the oil as well. So if you don't want cells, you could use this directly out of the bottle. That's pretty much what I got out of the directions. Even though I didn't need directions, but because this had the medium, like, okay, these are pouring acrylics already, why do I need a medium? So I wanted to read it. So you got grape jelly. You got midnight blue. You got jet black. You have titanium white. And let's see what we got. Lemon yellow. And two more. We got citrus orange. And we have red hot. And I also kind of like the names of these um, paints as well. So I thought that was really cool. Anyway, so that is that unboxing. So today I wanted to try um, to use these paints. And in another video, I am going to use the uh, Montmartre. And I think today... I am just going to use these straight out of the bottle and not use the gloss medium yet. I just want to see um, what these guys do without any uh, additives, without any medium, without any silicone. And then I'm definitely going to try them with it. I'm just curious of the difference, uh, if it actually does create cells or not, you know, how well this works. And so today... I am going to also try for the first time. These are all firsts today. Um, I am going to try oops, to not drop things. <laughs> okay. I am going to do for the first time a... Um, I'm going to use a 6x6. Six six. I am going to do a reverse dip pour. So basically, um, you know, you pour your paint on the canvas straight on, and what you would do is take a napkin, dampen it with um, some water lightly, okay, in this little bottle does have water, and you just dampen it, and you press it on here, and just tap, 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 and then you lift it in the by the corners, so we are going to try that today. I never did it before. So you may see me screw up. You may see me do something great. Who the heck knows? But I'm going to try it. I'm also not feeling too well. So if I sound extra nasally today, I apologize. I caught my uh, husband's cold. It took me about a week to catch it. So I am not feeling that great. So I'm just going to take it easy today, and I just wanted to share this um, with you. All right, so let's get started, and I'm going to start the pour. All right, guys, see you in a sec.
Hey guys, I am back. So at the last minute, I decided to just tip a little bit up here. Um, yeah, I just, it looked a little thick in this area. I was like, oh, it may not dry that great. So I said, let me um, just tip it a little off and see what happens. So I have to say, for me trying this technique for the first time, I actually like it. It's fun. It's pretty easy, you know. Um, I'm probably going to do... I may get some bigger canvases, like 9x12s. I like the 10x20s. Um, but yeah, this is... I really like uh, this technique. I think it's very cool, and I like the way it came out. You know, for first try, I don't think it's half bad. Um, but as far as the paint is concerned, I actually like this. Uh, the consistency is slightly thicker than I would usually do, but I think for this technique it was actually good. Um, yeah, so that for this technique it was good, and maybe like for ring pours, it depends on like maybe what you're doing. Um, like for like a waterfall pour, I think I would rather have it a little on the thinner side, so maybe I would use the pouring medium. But I have to say, I like, even without any silicone or anything, it's, I don't know, the kind of cells, yeah, I mean, they're like small cells are in here, but I really like that. Like, I really love this. I think this is very cool. And the paints, like the actual, um, the vibrancy is really great. The pigmentation, I have to say, is pretty good. Without any pouring medium whatsoever, I think this is good. And I was really hoping that we'd be good because it looked like such a great kit that I was hoping that these would be good. Um, and again, and even if they weren't good, $34 for all this would not be bad, you know? And yeah, like I said, if the paints were bad, let's say for actual pouring, even though they were for pouring, maybe I could have used them for something else. Maybe I could have given away. Um, but anyway, I do like them. I like the way this came out, and I'm happy with it. And maybe I'll give this as a gift as well, because it is... This, those are the colors I kind of went for today that were most interesting to me. Um, it is kind of Christmassy. I wasn't really trying to do that, but uh, maybe I have Christmas on the brain, the holidays, or whatever. But um, yeah. I actually like this paint, and I like the way this came out. I like this technique. I thought that was cool. And I like trying new things, as you know. So I think that is all for today. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you like this painting. So if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you the next time, guys. Bye!